Today we're going to be reviewing the Patriot Burst Elite 418 gigabyte, and I would like to thank Patriot first of all for sending me two of these drives. Why? Because I toasted the first one, and even though the connections are all the same, it is good to always check. So this video was sponsored by Common Sense. Just because it fits doesn't mean that it was meant to go there. Getting to the point, why are we reviewing older technology in the form of a 2.5 inch starter when we've got much later things like an NVMe drive? And in order to answer that question, you are gonna have to stay tuned or just go through to the conclusion. But we are gonna have to go through the specs as well as the performance because this is a review and we do need to know what it can do. So let's start off with the specs. On to specs. Now, the first and most important point is the size. It's a 480. Now, what is the difference between a 480 and a 512? Well, that all depends on how the manufacturer sets it out and also the available space. It's actually got to do with something called over-provisioning, but that is a topic for another day. The interface is a SATA 3, which is 6 gigabits per second. Well, actually 4.8, but I'll touch on this point a little bit later. The flash is NAND. It's actually Micron Flash 64 layer, and it is a QLC flash. This drive does not have a cache, and I don't think that's too important because we are dealing with an entry level drive. And when we get to the conclusion and the price point, we can touch on that. Lastly on specs, and so not really a spec, more of an advertising feature, but it has a three year warranty. So this is really important when you are doing your shopping to be able to compare like for like, price for price and warranty for warranty. Three years is pretty standard within the industry, but you will find different manufacturers or different brands have a different warranties on these types of entry level drives. Performance, note that this is a 2.5, so we are not going to be breaking any records. It operates or SATA 3, which has a max of the six gigabits per second, actually 4.8, and that's because of the bit encoding scheme. Now, that is important because that will lower the actual ability of the drive to perform over 600 megabytes per second. But let's go to the graphs. Firstly, the read and write speeds. Now, the promise coming from Patriot is 560 on read and 540 on write. Now, they use Atto in order to determine this. On Crystal Disk Mark on peak performance, we hit a read of 543 and a write of 440. The Crystal Peak on 4K was 162 and on write was 177. Now, more importantly, the real world performance from Crystal Disk Mark was 524 on read with a write of 435. The Passmark sequential speeds were 476 on read and 387 on write. ADA on random testing or random buffer testing was 359 on read and 301 on write. Moving on to IOPS or input output operations per second, Crystal on real world, and this is per thousand, had 10.5K on read and 19K on write. On Passmark real world, we had 11K on read and 20K on write. Lastly, on a 4K real world performance, on a Crystal real world, we had a 44 read and a write of 78. And on Passmark, we had a 43 read and a 77 on write. Just some information that you can see in front of you. If we look at ADA64, on the read was pretty stable. As soon as we got to about the 90% range, we did have a little bit of a dip, but pretty happy with that. And on right, we had pretty stable results going through. We can see the drops going through there, but this is normal because it's actually part of the testing mechanism. The conclusion and the point that I was alluding to a little bit earlier. Flash prices have dropped so tremendously and apparently are going to drop even further. Now this means that it's actually viable to spruce up your system with a 2.5 inch SATA SSD versus your traditional 3.5 inch hard drives. Now this has also got benefits besides the actual speed and performance. Well, speed and performance being one, it takes less energy and personally I think that the installation is a lot easier with a 2.5 and it takes up less space. 
answer price and I guess the real conclusion of this video. This retails for around about 600 to 750 Rand, which is relative to its peers. Sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's more expensive, depending on where you shop. The biggest problem is that next week, whatever I've just said could be completely different. So always make sure that you're comparing like for like. But the one thing that I did want to point out is that if you're looking at the capacity of a one terabyte, this is retailing. Cheapest price I could find is about one and a half thousand Rand, where its peers are trading at a thousand to a thousand two hundred Rand, depending again on where you shop. So if Patriot could give this a little bit more emphasis on one terabyte, we are going to be looking at a very, very good offer to be able to swap out your one terabyte hard drives with an SSD and benefit from that speed. Guys, if you do have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below or preferably reach out to me on social media. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Cheers and goodbye.